it just reminded me the times uh, when the Ukrainian people started their fight, I want to reiterate, started their fight for their dignity and for their freedom, because this, this is an ongoing fight. And the Canadian people and you personally and all these distinguished uh, people who are present right now in this very room, you stand and you stood by the Ukrainian people. We stood together shoulder to shoulder. And that's what Ukrainian people do really know, understand and feel. Uh, we are still facing a very crucial challenges because you know that Russia illegally annexed Crimea, Russian troops still deployed in Donetsk and Lugansk. And President Putin, he's not eager and he's not willing to restore the territorial integrity of Ukraine. And I want to be very clear that I strongly believe that the Russian Federation poses the threat to the national security interests of the free world, of Ukraine, Canada, and of the entire free world. And all these attempts uh, to undertake so-called appeasement policy cost a lot for Georgia, for Ukraine, for Transnistria, for, for a number of countries, and mainly for my country, because still the death toll is rising, there is an ongoing shellings, and a few days ago we lost four civilians, so the civilian casualty uh, is rising too, but despite this we are the only country in Europe that is fighting against Russians, Russian regular troops, and we deter Russians. And I truly appreciate and commend uh, the support of your government and of your people to make Ukrainian military stronger, more durable. And to show to everyone that, look, we are not just friends and uh, we are not just partners, we are very close friends with Canada. And uh, this is the message I will definitely deliver in Ukraine.